This video is sponsored by DistroKid. Hi, I'm Ash. Welcome back to my channel. Today, it's all about... We're talking Jack U. And the Shelter Boys. Two of the biggest EDM team-ups of all time. It's like the Avengers versus the Justice League, kinda. Either way, it's the best showcase of the power of collaboration. But really quickly before the video, speaking of collaboration, I want to talk about today's sponsor, DistroKid, and their feature called Teams. Teams by DistroKid makes collabing super easy. This means you can add unlimited collaborators to any track, and no matter who works on it, every Everyone gets credit. All they need is a DistroKid account. And if you need to change the splits, you can do it anytime. You can add or remove collaborators anytime. And you can see previous info like splits. Your collabs will only see the percentage they get. And even if Buddy's ghosting you, cutting it close to release date, your release will not be delayed. As always, DistroKid never takes a cut. You and your collabs will get 100% of earnings. So sign up with DistroKid. If you want 7% off, use my VI. IP link, it's in the description. Other than that, thanks DistroKid, and on to the video. Not sure what I should emulate. They have such an eclectic sound. Should I just go with like the hybrid trap stuff, make it heavy? Wait, but Shelter is such a pretty song. Actually, the perfect pairing would be Where Are You Now? They're both kind of pretty songs, and if I think of Jack Yu, we'll go to that Beaver track. So let's just go with that. Heavy stuff, maybe for a different video. <laughs> Shelter. In fact, sounds like this. Wait, da, 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 da. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can't I get the timing. Ugh, I love this melody so much. So I transposed it to B major because I plan to sing on this. Jeez, this video is so good. Porter actually turned me into a weeb. I wonder what would happen if I put in the chords from Jack Yu. And I should probably change the BPM as well. So where are you now is at like 139. These chords are so cool because of their rhythm. Oh. Three, bum, bum. Rather than having them change at the beginning of every bar, they change right before. And it adds this cool, like, polyrhythmic feel. And it doesn't make an, a complete loop either. It takes eight bars versus, like, the normal four bars. So if you're trying to make chords interesting, this is a great way to do it. Oh. <laughs> Oh no. Sounds a little disjointed. <laughs> well, it's a little bit of chaos, right? No way, go back, go back, no. No! <laughs> Let's, uh, I'm gonna simplify this riff just to fit with the rhythm of the chords a little better. Ooh. No! The chaos! Uh, okay, simple, simple, simple. Wait, let's make a pluck synth as well. Hegiator, chord trigger, one eighth, and just like... Okay, now we're just making Where Are You Now. The Jack U project and album is so important to me because it injected inspiration into my veins. The variety of different styles that found the balance between being derivative and at the same time influential was crazy to me. I mean, there are songs that have aged incredibly well, but uh, also <laughs> not, not so much. So the way that Skrillex's sound design and arrangement was combined with Diplo's understanding of groove and energy, it all comes culminated into something great, this album did the best at showcasing both of their strengths. And it got me thinking inward at my own. I spend so much time constantly trying to catch up with things that I wasn't great at and ignoring the fact that I found the most success when focusing on stuff like melody, vocals, arrangement, stuff I was good at. These are the things I could focus on showcasing when creating my own music. I mean, there's nothing wrong with trying to improve certain aspects of your production, but it's it's important not to get discouraged just because you're not at the level you want to be. You got to stay confident in your own strength, know exactly what you can bring to the table, and seek out collaborators that make up for your weaknesses and even help you along the way. From this, I can see Jackie's influence on other producers refining their sound. It led me to find some of my favorite artists like Ricky San, RL Grime, and for the first time, it seemed like I had direction. Jackie pushed me towards that, led me to find my own collaborators 
collaborative partner and makes some of my favorite songs I've ever done. But to be honest, all I want to do is just grow enough as an artist so I can meet Skrillex and Diplo face to face and demand Jack you too. That's it. That's all. That's all I want. Please subscribe to the channel. Okay, where's the freaking lead? Okay, that sounds kind of nice. I gotta make some drums though. Even though Jack Hughes' album is a bunch of different genres, the most consistent parts come from their drum sounds. Well, actually, mostly just the snares. So we gotta make that iconic Jack U snare. I mean, it's not even really a snare. It's more of these percussive sounds, like a clonk, stuff like that. Let's bring a few in. I got this one. And how to make it into Jack U? We just bring EQ in, and then I'm just gonna take this. And the fundamental is right there, so if I, like, let's jack you. Uh, I'll grab another sample. Yeah. Bring that in. Put it right before, so you get that. That's pretty much it! I need a bit of snare in there, so I'll take, like, I'll take that and then just chop it up, like, and then now... Click that! Click that! Solo these three, and then hit record. It's gonna bring it right into our drum rack now. Now I just gotta make a trappy beat. Cause that was Diplo's contribution to the project, right? Uh, gotta have those hi-hats though. It's gotta be tight. Never not tight. Okay, almost there. You know what? <laughs> Need to make the freaking sounds. I think we can do that really easily. So the original song sounds kind of like a deep house bass. Just gonna use this one. That slappy thing so i guess jackie was ahead of their time with but the more important thing is the rhythm uh, it's almost like a triplet rhythm but not quite i think this is double no wait hang on they changed the chords so that it goes up da, 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 da. so wait that and then the cutoff is just turned down a bit so that it's more plucky but this is what it is. It's PWM math, basic shapes on this wavetable, and then a sub on a square. And everything is all at the same octave, hitting at the same time. And the more important thing is the envelope is set to the cutoff here. And then you make this shape to make it super plucky. That is actually available on my Discord. So if you want to just download it for free, that's there. And we've got to keep that same rhythm. Wait, I should turn that into the dolphin flute thing. Okay, this might take a while. Hop in that melody though. I know it's gonna be made from an acapella, so let's use a sampler. This or something. Day. I always use this acapella for everything. This is from the Sun Holo and Somatics pack. I just need a note. I just need a note. Uh. Okay, we consolidate. And I'll just drag that in. Start playing some notes on it. Uh. Oh. <laughs> now we just don't know what note that is the best way to get that is to go tuner oh ah. we're in luck because it is c we'll hear what this sounds like with the melody you need it on loop mode <laughs> help no nope. okay hang on hang on we'll just do this wait <laughs> oh this is going so well i gotta octave it Almost. Okay, I need to like look up a video or something. One second. So I'm just gonna briefly go over some of the stuff in here. Uh, we have a bunch of cool stuff for you guys. After him and like for copyright that he like other blend up blend. I mean, guys that, talk that so much. Okay. Anyway, deciphering what was on their effects chain and playing around with the sampler. We got add some OTT, some erosion for that noise. EQ all of those harsh bits out. Reverb, overdrive, <gasps> uh, more EQ to top it off. And I think, <laughs> yes, okay, hang on, we'll shift the rhythm around a little bit so that it fits the Jackie style a little more. Yeah, it's gonna arrange this out a little bit and all we need now are vocals, right? So uh, Couldn't get a hold of Bieber. So I'll just record my own I can never find the right way to tell you and let's get it super Maddie on style So we're gonna add some a little altar boy pitch it up 12 way to tell you. And then use the form and I can never find the right way to tell you. obviously get some EQ 
and reverb on there. I can never find the right way to tell you. And Skrillex would have definitely chopped that up for the intro, so got a little. <laughs> hey, what if Maddion tried to sing like Bieber? <laughs> okay, here it is. our sponsor, DistroKid. If you like what I'm doing, if you learned something, please like and subscribe. What do you want me to do next? Comment that below, I'd love to hear. That's gonna be all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, I'll see y'all next time.